Hello children today we are going to read chapter number 3 a rupee goes a long way from the book gulmohar language for life 9th edition class 5 a rupee goes a long way it is written by ruskin born who is an indian writer who has played a very important role in the growth of children's literature in india he has written several popular novels short stories and poems Most of his writing is influenced by his life in the hill stations at the foothills of the Himalayas where he spent his childhood. Now let's begin with the chapter reading. Ranji had a 1 rupee coin. So he made his way to the Jumna sweet shop, tossed the coin on the counter and asked for a rupee's worth of jalebis. The shopkeeper looked at the coin carefully. That coin's no good," he said. "Are you sure?" Ranji asked. "These coins went out of use long ago," said the shopkeeper. "It isn't old enough to be valuable, and it isn't new enough to buy anything." Ranji shrugged, took the coin back, and turned onto the road. Soon, Ranji was wandering through the bazaar when he heard a familiar voice behind him. Where are you going Ranji It was Mohinda Singh Ranji's friend In one hand Mohinda held a homemade fishing rod I am not going anywhere said Ranji Where are you going I am not going I have been Mohinda said I was fishing in the canal all morning Ranji stared at the fishing rod Will you lend it to me He asked, "You will only lose it or break it," Mohinder said. "But I don't mind selling it to you. Two rupees. I have got one rupee," said Ranji. "But it's an old one. The sweet seller would not take it. Please let me see it," said Mohinder. He took the coin and looked it over. "Hmm. I don't suppose it's worth much. But my uncle collects old coins. Give it to me." and i'll give you the rod all right said ranji happy to make the exchange he took the fishing rod waved goodbye to mohinder and set off after some time a truck came along ranji knew the driver and waved and shouted to him until he stopped will you take me to the river ranji asked i'm going fishing climb up in the back the driver said Ranji climbed into the back of the open truck. Soon he was watching the road slide away from him. In a while, the truck stopped near the river bed. Ranji got down, thanked the driver and began walking along the bank. It was the dry season and the river was just a shallow muddy stream. Ranji walked up and down without finding water deep enough for the smallest of fish. No wonder Mohinder let me have his rod he muttered and with a shrug he turned back it was a long hot walk back to the bazaar ranji thought again of the jalebis that he had not been able to buy he had reached a few scattered houses when he saw a boy playing a flute in the stillness of the hot afternoon the flute made a cheerful sound Ranji stopped walking. The boy stopped playing. The boy had his eye on Ranji's fishing rod. Ranji had his eye on the flute. "Been fishing?" asked the flute player. "Yes," said Ranji. "Did you catch anything?" "No," said Ranji. "I didn't stay very long." There was a long silence. Then Ranji said, "It's a good rod." This is a good flute said the boy Ranji took the flute and examined it he put it to his lips and blew hard there was a shrill squeaky noise and a startled magpie flew out of a mango tree not bad said Ranji the boy had taken the rod from Ranji and was looking it over not bad he said Ranji hesitated no longer let's exchange A trade was made. The boy took the fishing rod and went on his way. 
Ranji began playing the flute. The notes sounded lovely to him, but they startled people who were passing on the road. When he came to the clock tower where the bazaar began, he sat on the low wall and blew vigorously on the flute. I can play better than that, said a boy who was carrying several empty milk cans. Let's see, Ranji said. The boy took the flute and played a lovely little tune. You can have it for a rupee, said Ranji. I don't have any money to spare, said the boy. But you can have this necklace. He showed Ranji a pretty necklace of brightly colored stones. The stones are very precious, said the boy. They were found in the mountains near Tibet. Ranji knew the stones had little value, but they were pretty. And he was tired of the flute. They made the exchange and the boy went off playing the flute. Ranji was about to thrust the necklace into his pocket when he noticed a girl staring at him. Her name was Koki and she lived close to his house. Hello Koki, he said. What's that you have got Ranji? A necklace? Would you like to have it? Oh thank you, said Koki, clapping her hands with pleasure. One rupee, said Ranji. Oh, said Koki. She made a face but Ranji was looking the other way and humming. Koki kept staring at the necklace. Slowly she opened a little purse, taking out a shining new rupee and held it out to Ranji. Ranji handed her the necklace. Then he ran across to the Jumna sweet shop and tossed the coin on the counter. Jalebi is for a rupee, he said. The sweet seller studied the coin carefully and said, Always at your service, sir. He filled a paper bag with hot jalebis and handed them over. When Ranji reached the clock tower, he found Koki waiting. Oh, I'm so hungry, she said, giving him a shy smile. So they sat side by side on the low wall and Koki helped Ranji finish the jalebis. And that is the end of the story. And the story is adapted from A Rupee Goes a Long Way by Ruskin Mont. I hope you like the story children. And finally Ranji was able to have the scrumptious meal of hot jalebis. Now I'll show you the back exercises and all the question answers that are given on the back which you have to do it on your own by understanding and listening to the chapter reading done by smart kids wonder for you and here are the back exercises for you which you have to attempt do not forget to share like and subscribe our channel smart kids wonder for more chapter readings Thank you so much.